Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, you're so so welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, okay? If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I achieved this silky, milky, creamy coconut rice without frying anything. It turned out so delicious and so amazing. If you want to see how I achieve this, keep on watching. guys i'm just going to take you through the ingredients for this recipe first one here is the coconut and i have a tomato paste i'll be making a particular kind of stew that we always use at home with this coconut rice okay i already have my blended pepper mix to tomato and onion i've boiled it already i have maggi and salt i have curry i have thyme i have this mixed spice my sister gave to me as a gift thank you sis so this is just amazing and i have crayfish i have meat stock and right here i have beef i have assorted i have liver i have chaki i have pomo hey guys this too is not complete without this assorted okay and you have okay the style of the dish which is the rice you can use long grain you can use short grain whatever you have and i have vegetable oil so let's start cooking First off, we're going to add the rice to a pot and then add some water. You know, at this point, you want to really cook your rice soft. When you're parboiling your rice, you want it to be soft, like soft, because this rice for this recipe has to be soft, not the regular fried coconut rice, okay? Now, the next step is to break our coconut and get the fruit out of it. Guys, if you know a better way of doing this, please leave it in the comment section because <laughs> This is tedious and this is the part I don't like in making this food. Like this part is bad, but I'm going to cut it off, okay? I either do it this way or I eat it on the floor. So yeah, I'm done doing it now. I'm putting the fruit out of it and we'll discard the shell. So to make this easier for my blender, I'm just going to slice this, cut it into bits so it blends faster and easier because I don't want to spoil my blender, okay? You can use an industrial machine if you have one around your area. You can go to the market to, to do that. So I don't have one around me and it's actually not in large quantity. I'm making a really small quantity so I can do this with my blender at home. But make sure to blend, to do it this way so you don't spoil your blender, okay? So yeah, I'm just going to cut this into bits. Guys, I'm done cutting this and the next step now is to blend the coconut. So I'm adding this to my blender right here. Remember, if you're blending in a large quantity, make sure not to pour everything into the blender at once. If you're making this in large quantities, you can just take it to the market where they'll blend it with the big machines for you. So I added water to the coconut and I start blending. So remember to blend, pause, blend, pause because you don't want to spoil your blender, okay? Yeah, so that's what I'll do until I, I'm done blending and I've gotten the juice out of the coconut. Guys, I'm done blending and it's time to sieve the chaff from the milk or the juice so this is what i'm using i love this sieve because it has two nets so anything that tries to escape from the top one can't escape through the bottom one so it's just perfect for me like it's just perfect for me so you can get something like this or you can use a cloth that you usually use to make pap that same cloth yes you can use it to extract your juice from the chaff so I'll just pour this and 
and I'll just get a spoon to just like press it down to make sure that I extract every juice. You know, we don't want anything to go to waste. We want to try our best to get out enough milk and juice from this coconut. I'm going to add water to the chaff again because trust me, there's still more in it. So I'm just going to press this and get the juice out and then add water again and extract more juice out of it, okay? If you've watched up to this point and you're yet to subscribe, kindly subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post a new video, okay? Please don't forget to like as well if you enjoyed this video. Thank you. So yes, this is the second time. Depends on the quantity you have. You can do it twice, you can do it thrice if you if it's enough but after the second time there was nothing left it's just basically water so <laughs> so after the second time it was done like it was just chaff left i don't know what you can do with this chaff if you know please leave it in the comment section so guys this is the milk or the juice and this is all we got from the coconut so i'm just going to let this sit for five minutes and you see why guys we're back to check on the rice it's been cooking for six minutes and it's soft now well so i'm just going to wash the rice now you know the regular way of parboiling your rice and then you wash off the starch so yeah that's what i'm doing now and yeah i forgot to mention i'm using onion and red pepper as habanero pepper so let's put this rice together First off, we're going to add the milk or the juice, some coconut, anyone you like to call it. So guys, you're going to see in a minute why we are to let this rest for a bit. If you look closely, guys, you can see sand settled under the bowl. Can you see it? You don't want to add this to your rice, so just let it sit for a while whenever you make this and then you discard that, okay? So guys, it's time to put everything together. So first of all, we'll add our parboiled rice. And after that, you add in your seasoning and your salt. Next thing is to add your pepper and your onion. Then you go in with your crayfish. You can mash yours, you can blend yours, whatever way you like it. And go in with your meat stock. This rice is already looking beautiful. <laughs> hey guys, I'm not staring to the bottom of the pot. I'm just trying to know the level of the liquid in this pot to see if I needed water and I did. So I just added it to water and then just, you know, touch it up a bit. Don't stare to the bottom. You don't want to get burnt at this point. Okay, so it's okay. And I'm going to cover and let this cook bring it to a bowl basically guys after six to seven minutes i came back to check on the rice to see if it needed any more spice so i'm just going to taste for seasoning and i realized i needed salt so i added some salt and then i cover and let's start preparing the stew guys to make the stew i'm going to add vegetable oil to my pot and let it heat up a bit and then I go ahead and add in sliced onion. This onion is just to add flavor to my meat. So I'm just frying my proteins lightly. I'm not frying it for too long, just lightly, yes. And after five minutes, guys, I'm back to take it off. You can see the way I fried it. It's not fried brown or dried. Now the next thing I'm going to do to that same vegetable oil, I'm going to add in tomato paste and then go ahead and add in some thyme and just stir this and fry your paste till it's no longer sour. Guys, this is a secret to making an amazing stew. Make sure to fry your tomato paste. Some persons don't have patience to fry their stew, so it doesn't really turn out well. So fry it until it's crumbling like this, okay? And then when you taste it, it's no longer taste sour, and you know it's ready. And then the next step is to add in your tomato, your pepper, and your onion mix that you've blended and cooked already. I'm just going to add this at this point. 
and then just mix it to combine with the tomato paste make sure you mix it properly and everything is combined together guys if you're enjoying this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to like and then subscribe okay and yeah just cover the stew and let it fry as i'm back now to check on my stew it's not ready at this point remember the secret to making a perfect stew is to actually fry it so you have to be patient so at this point i'm going to add the meat stock and then add the proteins into the stew because i want the stew to infuse into the meat like when you eat the meat you shouldn't just be eating fried meat but you should taste the stew in the meat so you add it at this point and then just stir everything together cover and fry for another five minutes guys i'm back after five minutes and remember you always need to stir your stew because you don't want it to get burnt so don't get tired of stirring now i'm just going to season my stew with just um seasoning cube some salt and then the mixed spice i showed you earlier it has turmeric in it, it has clove in it, it's just an amazing spice and then i'll just mix this to combine and then cover and let it fry guys i'm back to check on the rice it's looking good i'm just checking to know if it's soft and okay if the taste is okay so at this point you can see there is water in it and this is the point where you want to mix and combine this rice together to the bottom of the pot okay because we want to see that creamy soft rice all right now i'm done doing that i'm just going to cover this with foil and let the steam do the cooking from this point guys i'm back to check on this stew and our stew is ready it took me 20 minutes to fry this stew so you see guys you have to be patient to fry your stew to get the best results okay i'm just going to mix this and look at how beautiful the stew is looking and it tasted so delicious as well okay so take time and fry your stew properly okay now i'm back to check on the rice and guys the rice too is looking good ah, everything is looking good about this food just perfect it's soft it's creamy i used to call this rice milk rice when i was growing up <laughs> because i uh, it's always soft and creamy and i love this like delicious the taste of the crayfish the pepper the onion it's just the taste of the coconut milk it's just amazing guys so our rice is ready i'm going to give you a closer look can you see how creamy it looks can you see this is what you're going for guys so thanks for watching this video guys please leave in the comment section if you're going to try this and when you do please tag me on instagram okay thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video if you've not subscribed up to this point please subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video thank you so much and see you in my next video